workflows help leaders take people through processes that get them connected to the church or join a group, become a member, or any other goal you may have in mind for a person in your database. So let me show you how to create a, a workflow. You'll tap new workflow, enter the name of the workflow, choose their campus and the category to keep it organized on this workflow page, and then you'll tap create workflow. But I've already created a workflow, so let me show you what that looks like. It's called first time guests. So you can see in the top left that these are all um, all of the steps for the per a person who gets added to this workflow. We're going to send them a coffee or an email with a coffee voucher. And you can see the description here of what needs to be sent to them, a postcard, follow up text, all of those different things. Now, um, for this step, if I want to change what is said, then I can click this question or question mark, this pencil and um, change the description to tell people what to do in the step. In addition to this, this step, I can auto snooze this card. So for example, um, for the one month follow-up, the very last um, the very last step, I want it to, I don't want it to show up f until a month later. So I can auto snooze any cards that get to this step for an entire month so that no one gets a notification until a month later. Um, this expected response time is like send an email with a coffee voucher. If someone comes on a Sunday, I want to make sure they get that email by Wednesday. So I'm going to put an expected response time so that people who are using, um, this workflow know it needs to be done in the next three days. Um, so you can add those as whenever you add your steps. And then um, here on the sidebar, you can also see um, who has access to this workflow. Um, all managers have access to be able to manage the workflow, make any changes to it. And in addition, Emily Giles has access to her cards. So um, any cards that are assigned to her, she will be able to get a notification, come to this workflow and only see those cards. So let me show you what that looks like. Um, a person can be added to a workflow through an automation or they can be added manually. So I'm gonna add Joe Smith to this card and I'm gonna reassign it to Emily. So what will happen is that Emily will get an uh, uh, email once I click add person and um, she will see that she is assigned to Joe Smith as a card. I'm going to pin this assignment to her so that she can walk Joe all the way through this workflow. Now when I add this person what happens is that they're added as a card. So um, you add steps in a workflow and you take cards through that workflow. A card is just a person um, but let me show you what that card looks like. Now I don't have any um, any cards assigned to me, so I'm gonna go to this one that's assigned to Aaron. So I'm gonna open this card by tapping it, clicking it, and it'll tell me this is what you need to do. So this step is needs to happen. So I can look down here and see, okay, Aaron did send him an email, but he didn't say anything about the coffee voucher. So um, I'm, I can add an internal note. <laughs> I already added it. <laughs> um, this says, hey, Aaron, will you make sure Matt gets a coffee voucher and I'm going to save this note. Now I can, if this isn't just for, um, for this card and I need to save it to his profile, I can save it as a note, whether it's a prayer request or a general note or whatever category. Um, I can save it as a note to Matt's profile and to the card, but this is just in, in regards to this card. So I'm going to save this note. And then, um, to make sure that Aaron gets this question, I'm going to snooze this card for today so that tomorrow when it unsnoozes, it'll go to Aaron and he'll be able to come back to the card and see like, hey, Aaron, we, like, we make sure he gets a coffee voucher. Um, so that's an internal note. Aaron sent an email from here and it came from, from Aaron's um, email address and this is what it looks like. Welcome, we're so glad you came this weekend. That was what the email looked like. Um, in addition on this card, I can perform an action by like I could add him to a serve team or uh, a team in services or I could add him uh, at his attendance. Um, any, any kind of action that needs to be taken, I can do it right here from the workflow card. So um, so that's, that's all the things you can do within the card. In addition to that, say Aaron was like, yeah, I already gave him a coffee voucher. I just gave it to him in person instead of over an email. Um, so he, when he gets to here, he can skip this step cause he's already, you know, it's taken care of. Um, if, 
if Matt doesn't want to engage in all of this, he can remove Matt from the workflow. Um, or maybe Aaron gets the email and says, oh shoot, yeah, I sent him an email and forgot to give him a voucher. So when he gets here, I'm gonna unsnooze this to show you what will happen. When he gets here, he can complete this step and that'll move Matt to the next step in the workflow. So that is workflows. Um, there's one more thing I wanna show you about this. Maybe um, if you want to do perform the same action on multiple cards, you can do that. So I'm gonna to go to this step that has seven cards and I'm gonna to go to these unassigned cards. So the person who used to be in charge of this, uh, these people is no longer in our database. So I am going to reassign these cards to me. Actually, I'm gonna reassign them to Emily. So Emily reassigned all of it and I didn't tell you what I was doing. I'll tell you what I did. Um, we can go to another place to show you what I did. So I'm going to go back to Emily. Uh, I select all of them and then I chose to reassign them. Um, you can choose to complete the step. Lots of different options here if you want to do something for all of these cards. But you just select all of them. And if you don't want to select all of them, you can select a couple of them and then take an action on them. So um, that's how you move a lot of people along in the workflow. Okay, so we've added a person, we've checked checked this process and moved along another person, and those people are well on their way to becoming an active part of our church. Yay! <laughs>